Kill or Be Killed podcast. All right. So last one goes to um, uh, Bodyguard. Let's see my share on. Okay. So I wrote this article about the Wonder Hoodie, and I say I hate this product. And this is the product that um, they put uh, level 3A protection in the hood. Oh, good. Right. So what if you're shot in the head wearing a bulletproof hoodie? And now what's funny is like this company purchased one of our jackets before they went into business and then kind of took our design a bit on the uh, uh, our uh, bodyguard jacket. I know this because I saw the purchase order and I saw who started the company when it came up. So they bought our shit and they copied some of it, which is fine, whatever, you can do whatever you want. Um, But then they put this gimmick in it and I've had people from wonder hoodie. Like there's nobody, nobody gives a crap about this product who purchase it, purchases it. So <laughs> the only people who are posting are people from the company who are trolling okay. me because again, this comes up in search engines and I have fun with it. Cause they're like, it's better than nothing. And no, it's not. No, no. And I'm going to show you in a video of how it's not, but this is the last one from these people. And they is <laughs> from Aaron Dotson. And now it just shows a level of ridiculousness and lack of understanding, not only about body armor, but about violence. So here's Aaron's comment. I just purchased the Wonder Hoodie after debating several bands. The hoodie sold me because my daily commute is on a motorcycle. And in a pinch, I could stretch the hood up over my helmet if I needed to. I have no doubts that if the Kevlar held... A shot to my head with my helmet would not be fatal. Ignoring all that, when I'm not on my bike and the hood has no added protection, even if you're completely cut off from the hood, you never put it up. It's still level three protection at a lower price than yours. One, I don't know about that. Two, you get what you pay for, but that's not even wow. Good. The point wow. is, so is that he envisions riding his motorcycle and either while riding his motorcycle realizes that there's shots being fired someplace. Yep. Has the thought to be like, you know, no, are those firecrackers? Are those, what is that? Is that, are these people running? Oh my God, it's really happening. Hold on a second. While I'm riding, pulling the hood over my helmet to protect my head. Yeah. Okay. That seems plausible. The other is in the, unless you're, I ride motorcycles. I got them. I wear my helmet literally for 30 seconds, if that, when I get off my bike. Right? George, how often do you keep your helmet on? You go to the, you you walk into work with your helmet on? Oh, I fucking wear it everywhere now. (laughs) Right. Exactly. Right. Well, the mask thing. So, (laughs) so you see value in this again. You're getting off your bike. You're thinking about the shit you got to do. You just got to, you parked it. You put the kickstand down. You're getting your shit off. You're turning it off. You're locking it. You're taking, then you immediately go to take off your helmet. While you're taking off your helmet, you hear shots being fired. Yep. I'm going to tell you, your muscle memory is going to have you take off your helmet because that's what you do. Again, you're buying this for the 10 seconds that you're actually going to use it. Or could that it could happen? So the chances that you should buy lottery tickets with the money you paid for the extra couple hundred bucks for that stupid ass wonder hoodie. Yeah. So now we did a little video thing and people are like, oh, it's a watermelon. Yeah, dude, it's a watermelon. So right here. So we did this really about uh, bulletproof backpacks, but at you know, it's a, this is a three, a backpack. All right. And we're just, it's got three, a protection in there. That's the body. That's the 
who the hell is that? Um, that is a uh, bullet blocker. They have a three, a panel in a regular backpack, which is whatever it is. It is what it is. So Kevlar is designed for the body, for the yeah. adult body. It is not designed for the head. Soft armor is not rated for the head. There are no tests on that. It is not used in that manner. Only hard armor is used for the head. And there's a reason is because the soft armor allows for penetration and the penetration up to like 22 millimeters. So that being said, 22 millimeters into your skull, while it probably well, it won't go, well, a nine millimeter won't go through your skull. You're going to be a vegetable. Yeah. So, you know, you want to sit there and tell me that something is better than nothing, that this is better. This is not, this is useless. It is useless. It is a waste of your money. So again, we did this with the three, eight backpack because they had kids for children and kids holding it up, which was bullshit. Um, because this is what happens. So this is just me. Yeah. They're showing people holding up three, a armor as protection and this is what's going to happen. You're going to get, and this is for one shot, not multiple shots of a semi-automatic. I mean, you got kids like hiding under these things. They're dead. Yeah. That's not going to do anything. It's going to just cause them severe pain. And then it's, you know what? It takes two shots. So look, nine millimeter, there's nothing. It's a full metal jacket. It's not a hollow point. It's nothing. It's a regular round. Bang. Look, hole in the watermelon. It's yep, shattered. That's, a bad day. Crack. that's your head. That's your head with the Wonder Hoodie. Go right ahead. Sure. You know, it didn't go through your brains, but it cracked your fucking skull. You're done. It is a waste of money. You know, just get the jacket. Don't buy the hood thing. You know, get the jacket. Yeah. You know, the soft armor should do what it does. I don't know where they make it. I don't know where it's certain. I, I don't know. I don't know anything about the product. All I know is that they're telling people that they're lying to people that this will protect you against handguns. And it will not. It's not rated for handguns. I don't like what they're doing. Their comments are stupid. This product is stupid. They don't know anything about real ballistic protection and what happens. They are not a tactical group of people. They are someone as the story goes that, Oh, saw it was worried about my kids and developed the product to protect my kids. Great. Fine. Do you know anything about body armor other than that? This is three a, so I'm going to just put this on my head and take care of myself. <laughs> Wonder hoodie. You are stupid. I hate yep. you. I do. You guys can keep trolling me though, because the more you keep posting and sharing, uh, the more traffic you get to it, and that's not a problem. So, good. Okay. I think the adder on that's like 115, 150 bucks uh, for the panels in the hoodie. Mm -hmm. Again, you know, our so buddy good. Bentley will be their spokesperson. Right. Yes. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> so, on that note, um, that's it, man. Uh, good. Uh, we covered a lot of ground. Um, you know, final thoughts, George? Yeah, yeah. I, I'm going to Miami. That's what I'm fucking doing. I'm going to Miami tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, my God. Buy a nice watch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to go get rolled by fucking whatever her name is and then, you know, fight my way out of the airport. <laughs> <laughs> right. It'd be like a full, we'll have a camp. Yep. That would be the next training summit. We're just going to go to Miami. What are you going to do? Yeah. All right. It'll take care of itself. That's right. <laughs> no. It'll all be in the Olive Garden. Right. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, man. I'm that bombshell. Thanks for stopping by. Until next time, you know, trade honestly. <laughs> <laughs>